Okay, so I made my way to the Valley of the Kings. I'm keen and excited for this one. Uh, oh wow. So I called a taxi in. That seemed nice actually, which doesn't seem often. Yeah. Anyway, let's go in. Cheat, catch a ride like the crowds. Or we could walk in. I think I'm gonna walk. <laughs> I'm already lazy enough to take a taxi here. I'm not gonna do anything more than that. <laughs> oh, so that these things. 63 different tombs. Uh, got access to three of them. Plus I got a little bit extra for the um, Toon and Carmen one as well. So it's gonna be a good explore. And once we're done here, got a few little um, Hatshepsut sort of Temple we can get to on the other side and maybe even the Valley of the Queens. All will be great. It's completely carved out of the rock. Straight in there and you can see how deep it goes. See, because that's just the entrance and it goes a good 20, 30, 40 meters straight in. Oh wow. Now the crowds here are not too bad. It's mainly the large tour groups, but <laughs> this particular spot is completely deserted, so I'm gonna have a quick quick one of those excited moments of like six months ago I was in Peru, Machu Picchu, and now six months later I'm in the Valley of the Kings <laughs> in Egypt. Oh my god. Oh I love this so much. Oh, I have no idea. Oh, oh it's so bright. I'm going inside this one. Yeah, so we're about a 150 meters down. A lot bigger than I expected. And there's 63 of these. Wow. That was a hell of a workout. Jeez. <laughs> now, we're off to probably one of the most well-known famous ones. I paid a little bit extra for it, naturally. Twin Carmen. This is Twin Carmen's tomb. Probably the most famous and well known of all of them, to be perfectly honest. Let us go away. Eventually. Oh, in this room, it's just heading straight down. Honestly, that was some seriously morbid shit. Like, oh my god. They got him, they got him just laying out there. Just casually. It's messed up and then you got all those people taking flash photography and it's just, oh. God. I guess I can't complain too much. I do this a lot. I do this sort of stuff a lot. But still, some people. Get into that one. It was empty until that huge crowd walked down. So that's all of the accessible ones. I got one more back at the entrance that was completely packed when I first arrived, so I'll head back there. Oh, this is another made special dig in. Imagine how sacred this place would have been 4,000 years ago. So this is the region where everyone was 
all of the kings, all the pharaohs were buried. So the largest one is back down there. So I learned that Ramses, one of the Ramses' sons, I didn't get the number, the reason it's so big is because he had 39 wives and they were all buried there as well. So it actually takes up most of that hill. I think it's the one right in the distance there. It's incredible. As you can see, they're still doing excavation work right down there, so I'm not too sure what's in there. But I think this is going to be a constant job. They've only found 63. I mean, you'd think they'd be a hell of a lot more than that. No photos of that in here. This one here still looks like it's being excavated. And this guy here, so I'm going to shut off right now. Oh wow. So this one is like the most raw, I guess. Oh my god. No decorations, but still. Oh, wow. Turns out that they don't follow their own rules, but anyway. This one here looks, honestly, it looks like one of the newer ones. So, the ticket only allows access to three tombs. There's about 12 of them open. Three of them you need special tickets for. And then the rest you pick three and you go in them. Uh, but the rest you close, so they stamp your ticket. So once you got three, you're done. So this was my last one. Um, I think that's it. No, we're done there. Not much more. Just make my way out. Good though. Definitely this last one. It's nice and quiet for starters. Okay, I'll do for a quick look uh, further up the valley and then we'll head out and we'll try and see where we can make to next. This there is it's a connected tomb, so I can't actually go up there because I've used my three. So I think we're done. So we've got quite a few of these that are closed. So they've got 63, but they only know maybe about half of them about who was buried there. Of course, the most famous one being Tutankhamen. But, for the time being, this has been great. It's such a beautiful, just mountain range valley. Now, my goal here now is I'm going to make my way out. A taxi driver might be waiting for me. I told him not to, but if he is, uh, might have to take a ride. Um, but I'm going to try and walk out of the valley, head round to um, Hatshepsut Temple and the Valley of the Queens. So, hopefully, an hour or so should be there. You always feel sad leaving such an amazing place, but of course, you can't spend forever here. And eventually, you'll find this sign here and have to make your way out. Getting lots of people pulling over because I am just walking back, which, yes, most people will find weird, but again, if you know me by now, that's how I do it. Um, but still, such a beautiful day, interesting walk, loud buses passing naturally, I don't see the problem, it's not that far, it's maybe five kilometres, that's an hour, got plenty of water, decent shoes, I, I prefer it this way, to be perfectly honest, originally I was going to walk both ways, but then, I don't know, I think taxi on the way there is probably be a better idea, but now we've got this, it's beautiful. You know, I was told on my way in, the house just there is the home of the gentleman. I think it's called the Fraser House. Actually, let me just quickly double check that. I think it's called the Fraser House. Uh, Carter House. Carter House. Uh, so yes, it's the Carter House. It's the home of the guy who found and excavated Tutankhamun's tomb. Which it was a very small tomb because it was very uh, rushed. Uh, but it took 15 years, I believe. So, random interesting fact. Going towards the temple. It's quite cool. It's quite big actually, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And it's completely packed, funnily enough. Again, it's been a bit after midday, so I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. Oh, that's incredible. So they're still doing a lot of excavation work in the whole region. Because there, just as I passed, there was a lot of digging being done, so I think it's going to be, I think there's honestly so much more here than what they've actually got showing at the moment. 
which is nuts. Some sort of performance happening here called Red by the Temple. This setup though, <laughs> quick five, quick fix up. It's much, much better than, than my job. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, just a quick five. This is almost as incredible as the pyramids. Almost. I just got one more stop that I want to make today. Two now done. Sorry, not job. Place two now done. Now, off for one more. The question is, how do I get there from here? Ah, we'll find out shortly. <laughs> DJ, from 5 to 7 pm tonight. It's a bit early, to be honest. But you know what? It's an interesting thought. So much. They're way huger than those last ones. Damn.